In this module, I will discuss about the chromosome theory of heredity. So, first question comes, are the genes situated on chromosome? During 1910, many biologists suspected that genes were situated on chromosomes, but there was no proof to support this hypothesis that is genes were situated on chromosome. Now the T.H. Morgan first proposed a hypothesis linking inheritance of gene to chromosome. He has carried out a series of experiments on inheritance of white eye mutants in Drosophila to prove his hypothesis because he was very expert in carrying out experiments on Drosophila and in his laboratory he has discovered a white eye mutants in his Drosophila stock. Now he has crossed red eyed female fly with hemijigas or it's called hemijigot, white-eyed male mutant. In the F1 generation, he obtained the progeny which all were red-eyed. That is both male and female all were red-eyed. Now he intercrossed red-eyed female with alleles W plus and W with red eyed male W plus. In the F2 generation, he has obtained red eyed female and half of the males are red eyed and half are white eyed male. But all the females are red eyed. So, from this cross he has suspected that is the eye color genes were excellent. Now Morgan suggested that the inheritance of eye color gene was linked to the sex chromosome from this previous cross. He also proposed that gene for eye color was present on X chromosome but not on the Y chromosome. Now in the second cross, he has carried out another cross, in the second cross he has crossed heterozygous female of the F1 flies from the previous cross with hemijigas mutant male that is XY mutant male. In the F2 generation, he obtained half of the each sex are red eyed and half are white eyed. That is, he obtained red eyed female and white eyed female, red eyed male and white eyed male. Now, he has also carried out another cross. In that cross, he has intercrossed white-eyed male fly with red-eyed male. Now white-eyed male has a genotype WW and red-eyed male with a genotype W plus and Y is without any gene. In the F1 generation, he obtained red-eyed female and white-eyed male. In the F2 generations, this allele segregate and he also obtained the half of the flies of each sex has white-eyed, that is white-eyed female and red-eyed female and half has also, that is in case of male also, white-eyed male and red-eyed male. 
So as he expected, that is the half of the each sex are white egg and half of the each sex that is and red egg. So from that both the crosses, he concluded that in both experiments Morgan observed half the progeny of each sex white eye, white eyes and other half had red eyes. This experiment confirmed that gene for eye color was linked to X chromosome. Moreover, Morgan hypothesized that the eye color gene was linked to the X chromosome which was proved by these experiments. So he has concluded that is the genes were located on the X chromosome, this eye color gene and it is carried from one generation to the another generation during meiosis that is through chromosomes. Now the how he has proved that is the non-disjunction that is your chromosome theory of inheritance. Now chromosome theory of inheritance has proved by non-disjunction of X chromosome. Now this experiment regarding chromosome theory of inheritance was carried by, by one of his students that is C. B. that is Calvin B. Bridges. Bridges is one of the student of Morgan who has carried out one of the most important experiment on Drosophila. Now in that experiment he has crossed white-eyed female with a red-eyed male. Now this white-eyed female it is a homozygous so WW and red-eyed male is a heterozygous that is W plus it is carried. Now this white-eyed female it produces X that is W then one egg with two X chromosome WW and one it is a called null X that is without any X chromosomes. On the other hand the sperms are normal that is X and Y. Now when these are fertilized in the F1 generation he obtained normal red eyed female and he also obtained a meta female or super female which has a chromosomal constitution of X, X and X that is three X chromosomes with three alleles are present W, W and W plus. He also obtained an red eyed exceptional male with exo chromosomal constitutions. Now he has also obtained white-eyed male and exceptional white-eyed female with XXY chromosomal constitutions and he also obtained YO male which dies. Now out of these six flies, that is six types of genotypes, red-eyed female with two X chromosomes they are normal while meta female or super females are abnormal and it dies due to your anatomical abnormalities and peculiarities. On the other hand, exo that is red eyed male, it is though it is a male but it is found to be sterile. On the other hand, exceptional white eyed male, this one is found to be fertile and produce fertile and also exceptional white eyed progenies. On the other hand, why it dies? So from this experiment, which he was also, he has verified cytologically, he has found that this exceptional flies with peculiar characters are due to the non-disjunction or non-separation of X chromosome during meiosis that is the formation of egg. That is during the formation of egg that is 
exceptional or due to the non disjunction of X chromosome, that is egg with two X chromosome and egg with null X is formed, as a result of which exceptional flies were developed. Now from this experiment, bridges come to the conclusion that production of exceptional flies is due to non disjunction or non separation of X chromosome during meiosis. All the genes were located on chromosome and they play an important role in the transmission of genes from parent to the offspring. This idea is called chromosome theory of heredity and is one of the most important achievements in genetics because from this experiment one thing is very clear that is chromosomes are responsible for this production of exceptional flies. This we can say these chromosome chromosomes are responsible for transmission of character from one generation to another generation. So Bridges experiment proved beyond doubt the chromosome theory of heredity. So one you can quote from T. H. Morgan, that is, treasure your exceptions. That is, this from this exception, that is, exceptional flies, which Bridges obtained in his experiment. From that exceptional flies, he has made out this theory or hypothesis, the chromosome theory of heredity, which is the one of the most important discovery in genetics and in modern biology. So T. H. Morgan and C. B. Bridges has made an immense contribution in the science of genetics. In this module, we have provided key concepts of the module, quizzes, list of books for reading and study materials. Thank you for attending our online course.